This is a second opinion piece on 2 minute tennis tips, how to consistently crush short forehands. Tip number 4, set the racket higher than normal. In this frame, Coach Ryan shows how the racket is set a bit lower than the previous one. My experience is that we are all traditionally taught to set the racket high regardless. In order to get momentum, the traditional way is to have the racket drop. Gravity takes the racket downwards. Starting the racket lower would mean using more of our own force or energy to bring this racket up for a high contact. Bruce Savari is hitting with a whipping motion. This whipping motion is similar to what I learned under Oscar Wegner's modern tennis methodology. This is a frame from the original video. Rusevari is setting the racket high for this ball, no different from his other shots. This frame shows for that high setup, Rusevari finds the contact much lower. The high setup on the racket varies, not because of where the contact is, but because of the player's intention. His intention on the short forehand was to aim downwards. Rusevari is 6'2", and when the ball is at a shoulder level, from inside the baseline, there is a good margin of error for him to hit downwards and still clear the net. Traditional technique has always taught us to set the racket high. The problem with traditional tennis is that you have so many variations of the ball from many different areas of the court with opponents that hit from many different areas on their side of the court that you have to teach technique for every possible situation so that you can play perfect tennis. You couldn't be expected to memorize all these variations, and that is why traditional tennis is reliant on repetition. Through match experience and some drilling, players will learn that they have natural tendencies, and those natural habits come from certain intentions. I relate to this shot when I want to make a whipping motion that goes down, but also across the ball. As I aim for a higher contact level, combined with my intention to hit down, I will naturally try to start the racket higher. I do not start the racket higher because of a high contact point. A affecting B means B is a result of A, not necessarily that B affects A. Goal is simple. Keep the ball in play, especially when you have the advantage. Aim with a good margin over the net and add topspin to keep the ball from going too far out. If you are less concerned with consistency because you are comfortable with the ball being struck from a height much higher than net level, then going down on the ball is okay. You can combine it with spin so you are not relying on skimming the net. In conclusion, I disagree with tip number four because it may cause players to start high for every short forehand. Try to be open to more than just one way of hitting. That's what makes tennis fun.